Can a filmmaker create videos with only an iPhone? Over the years, I've filmed hundreds of travel vlogs, from the great white north, the scorching desert, the untouched rainforest, and deep under the ocean. My early videos were shot with just an action camera. They were shaky and all around rough to watch. So I upgraded, each time upping the production and finding myself with more and more equipment. But something crazy happened last year. People started making cinema-worthy videos with just an iPhone. So I asked myself, what would it look like if I filmed an entire travel vlog using the iPhone 15 Pro Max? To find out, I'm taking you to a destination where we're gonna push this pocket-sized camera to the very limits. It's an island with the bluest of blues, endless waterfalls, and it's a place inhabited by hundreds of bus-sized whales. Next stop, Mauritius. Thank you. The moment you clear customs, yeah. that's when it gets real. Ruby me dit qu'elle parle français. Alors, on va avoir un petit test. Dis-moi, pourquoi est-ce que tu es excité pour avoir un vacances en Maurice? Maurice. Je veux travailler dans Maurice. Pourquoi j'aime les Maurice? J'aime les ouf. Les ouf. You just said you want to work here. <laughs> no. no. Take it back. The moment you get your luggage, that is when it gets real. How are you? Good to see you, bro. Yeah, good to see you. Long man. day, long day. Yeah, how are you? It's so good. What happened to the big cab? Oh, we're downsizing. Oh, really? It's right here. That's Will. And Will is a Mauritian, so we're going to be getting the real deal experience. But instead of talking about it, Where are we we're going to show you. So let's do it. To get this trip started, Will took us to one of the best places in Mauritius. No, it's not the mountains, it's not the beaches, it's one of these fruit stands right on the side of the road. Boom! And you're saying this is the season, right? Yeah, this is the season. So between November and December, people in Mauritius go absolutely crazy what? over this What's stuff right here. Aujourd'hui, on va avoir le lechi, mais le problème c'est qu'elle doit commander, alors j'espère qu'on va manger aujourd'hui. Ouais, moi aussi. Allez-y, allez-y. Huh? Look, we got our lychee! Oh my god! Time for another Mauritian classic, my favorite fruit on the planet. I think we're gonna need more than one. After a massive sugar rush, we headed to our next epic stop, and while the sun had left us, smiles had not. The entrance to the waterfall is right there. One thing I'll say right now is I'm appreciating a lightweight backpack. It's never this light. The freedom couldn't come at a better time. Eau Bleu isn't quite a hidden gem among the locals, but the benefit of the rain is that we had it all to ourselves. So. After a gray start to Mauritius, blue skies everywhere. It looks so, so beautiful. It was raining so hard, we literally changed our schedule and pushed one of our most amazing things on this trip all the way back to the end of it. Only one thing is missing. Yep, a waterfall. Where so, is it? <laughs> I actually have no idea, but normally right there is a huge waterfall that just pours into this area. But uh, today, I don't know what's happening. It's just not showing up. I guess that's why they say, don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> Sorry. Will, I've joined the club. Oh yeah, here we go. Barefoot game. So a few power facts. This is pretty much one of the surf capitals of the world. Yeah, one of the best lefts in the world. Ooh. It's also home to the dodo bird. Once upon a time, this was their home. And then basically man came and destroyed everything. And there you have it. Never write off even the rainiest of days, because sometimes they lead you to the most amazing views. And it's gone. Literally 20 seconds later, the rainbows are gone. The rain is back. Now there's not endless restaurant options here in Mauritius, but there are a few great ones. The first night we arrived, we ate at Il Padrino, which was an expensive but amazing Italian restaurant. But tonight we headed to Nomad and it quickly became one of our go-tos over the next few days. In fact, we went from dinner to breakfast the very next morning. And now we're going on a hike. 
I monkey you or what? I'll put this here and you can jump on my back. Okay, cool. <laughs> All terrain. Yeah, okay. This, this is, is why you go barefoot in Mauritius. Yeah, this is why I need a guide. Right now we are going to the seven waterfalls of Mauritius. The mm. only thing is it has been raining. So as you can see, it's super slippery. Yeah. So stay close. It's my second favorite thing to do in Mauritius. And so we're with Olivia. Hey, bonjour, hey, Alex. Qui this path will have you break a sweat on a good day, but after some serious rains, this was a wet and muddy slip and slide. <laughs> of course, the Mauritians went all wheel drive, which honestly was a good call because Ruby and I's shoes would never be the same. Gosh, I'm being eaten alive right now. I would not last. After getting bitten a dozen times and slipping a couple more, we made it to a site that would make every single step of the journey worth it. These are the Seven Falls, the flowing heart of Mauritius. <laughs> I think what's so cool about this trip is we actually haven't Googled anything. Everything is confidence in you. We met Will at a Lost Creator trip in Bali that we hosted about, I guess, three months ago. Yeah. And it was pretty much the first time I'd ever heard the word Mauritius. And so when he explained to me what his childhood was like growing up by the ocean, by the waterfalls, I was like, if I have an opportunity to come see it through your eyes, that would be one of the coolest things ever. Yeah, I guess uh, Christian's a man of his word, so he came <laughs> to visit me here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, have a look at this. I haven't had this since Thailand. I'm gonna give them the ultimate snack. Come and get it, boys. Yeah, it tickles. <laughs> Normally this content's behind a paywall, but uh, I take care of you guys. You wanna see my feet? Look, so far using an iPhone to shoot this video has been full of pros and a few cons. And if you wanna learn what they are and how to get the very most out of your mobile phone videos, then check the link down below because I've made you a free guide on how to become an awesome filmmaker with just a phone. Literally, you could go full time with just this. We are off on our next adventure. Back up we go. That makes me scared whenever I see that. I was scared just watching you. <laughs> ah! This place is like something out of a dream. I've been on a lot of hikes, but this is definitely one of my favorites. All right, the last part of this adventure. This is so cool, we're right under the waterfall and you have all this beautiful greenery. I remember the first time that I was here, yeah. it was so magical. Literally every single time we come here, yeah. it's, uh, it's still as special. Super happy to have shared this moment with you guys. And the final stop of the seven waterfalls was standing on top of the seven. Oh, and we saw a good boy, which was a total bonus. In Mauritius, we hike barefoot. We go to the beach barefoot. We do pretty much everything barefoot. And right now, Christian is on his way to getting the Mauritian passport. Barefoot and eating pineapple like an apple. My Mauritian passport is indeed on its way. Four by four lifestyles activated. Oh my God, that's a lot of deer. It's 4.30 a.m. William! C'est temps pour les baleines. William! Bonjour! Ah, oh, thank you. Ready? Are you ready for this? Back in 2018, I started the series about taking off my bucket list. It started with the 24 hours of sun up in the north of Norway. From there, going to see the silverback gorillas, which is still one of my favorite of all time travel experiences. And today, we might just have a shot at my top three, swimming with whales. Something I've always dreamed of, but there are no guarantees. If we get to see these whales, it'll be one of the moments in your life that you'll never forget, trust me. Hopefully we find these whales. <laughs> My excitement was through the roof. It didn't matter if I'd only slept a handful of hours, this was my chance to go full Dave Attenborough. But let me tell you, whales are pretty big, but you know what else is big? Oceans. We searched and searched for like two hours, and the captain's face said it all. Things were not looking good. I was just about to give up, but then... Oh my god, what just happened? I hope my microphone still works, that was crazy. But then we got rocked by the biggest wave and nearly nosedived the boat into the bottom of the ocean. I've never experienced anything like that. And we survived long enough to see this. 
Wow. Oh my god. Wow. You know what comes next. Let's do it. Psych. The whale said sayonara and ding dong ditched us before we could even jump in. High key rude. But the good news was we found another. The day has come. And it ditched us again. After four hours of getting rocked back and forth with waves and nearly getting submerged, this was the best we got with the whales. But we did get an absolute treat on the way home when we saw these friendly guys. Whoa! I never knew whales were so agile. Truly a humbling experience. And for Will, a nauseating one. I think we whale watched just a little too hard. I think it's time to head in. So, the whale diving was incredible, but the truth is I didn't really get to check it off the bucket list. But what we are doing now is hands down the most Mauritius thing you can see, because I think it's only pretty much here in Mauritius you can see this. And the only way to see it is to get up. Way up. Ruby's pilot's pretty qualified. Yours okay. are 50-50, I'd say. I'll, I'll take those odds. Is this control in case you forget? You want me exactly. to take over? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm ready to fly. Let's go. And there it was. Right below us, a series of underwater currents that create an out-of-this-world canvas. This is Mauritius's very own underwater waterfall. But maybe the craziest thing was that mid-flight, I was given full control of the plane. I tilted us up, down, left, right, and I got a real feel for flying for the first time in my life. That was so, so cool. I was so happy. I was like, do I just enjoy the moment or do I like take a photo or do I take a video or do I take an iPhone video? I don't know what to do, but I had fun. <laughs> so this trip has felt like full circle moment. You see, I miss those days where I could shoot with one easy to use camera that sat in my pocket. And I feel like those days are back because now I can shoot videos that are just as beautiful on this as they are on this, you have zero excuses. If you want to become a content creator, if you've dreamed of building that life where you live full time on the road, where you make a living off the things you're most passionate about, today's that day. Even Ruby, she has been filming all around the world, different hotels, and a lot of her clients are asking her specifically to shoot on an iPhone. So Will is literally someone that just a couple months ago was basically not making much money, was just scraping by, but with a bit of guidance through our creator incubator, through Lost Creator Academy. Will, tell us a bit about your business. A few months ago, I was a content creator working literally every single day as hard as I could just to get around two or $3,000 a month through the incubator. Literally within three weeks, I just had that missing piece of the puzzle that just changed everything for me. I know it sounds corny, but that's really what happened. Today, I'm talking to you from Mauritius, sitting on the beach while my business in Australia is making me between seven and $8,000 a month on autopilot. Whether you're a content creator already or someone that's just wanting to pick up a camera to make it their full-time job, I highly recommend the incubator. It has personally taught me how to scale my business and get my time and money freedom back. That was my biggest goal ever. It's honestly changed my life. If you want to get that strategy and make this a living where you can be here each side in Mauritius or working from home, then check out that link down below. It's something that can absolutely change your life just as it did for that broke accountant back in the day. I'm definitely glad I picked up my first camera. So the reason I immediately said yes to the opportunity to come see Mauritius with Will is because this is his home, a place that he has known since he was just a kid. And right now he invited a bunch of his friends over to come to a barbecue. And I think this is the best way to travel. If you know somebody that has lived somewhere that can give you that local insight, open doors that you would never be able to see when you're just a visitor, those are the opportunities you gotta say yes to. William, qu'est-ce qui arrive Là, on est, en train, on est en train de faire un petit barbecue pour la dernière soirée de Christian et Ruby Amores. Les amis, le beyond. <laughs> That night, we had a lot of laughs, but not much sleep. We got up super early for our final day in Mauritius. But like all good adventurers, we saved the best for last. Bonjour. Bonjour. Comment ça va Yeah. 
Oui, ça va bien. This is my favorite thing, so we are going to the northern islands of Mauritius with Renard. <laughs> Northern Island trip to go see this beautiful part of Mauritius. But actually, we have one last thing today before we literally sprint to our flight. I don't know what Will has in store. Since I've come here to Mauritius, there's one place in the world that I feel in all my travels most closely compares, and that is Oahu. From the water, the mountains, the essence of the island, it has a lot in common. But there's one thing Mauritius has that Oahu doesn't, and that is that Mauritius is still underrated. Most people don't know about this place. Most people, like me, have never really even heard of it. If you're the kind of traveler that likes to go where few others are going, to share stories that few others have heard of, this is a place that I highly recommend. I've enjoyed every minute of Mauritius. And we made it. This is peak beauty. It doesn't really go up from here. This area here is all protected. Basically, it's a giant nature reserve. And on it are these white birds. And they're basically only here in Mauritius. In French, they are called paille en queue. Uh, and in English, they're called white tropical birds. I like the French one better. If this island couldn't go any harder, it just did. Let me show you what was going on just below deck. Oh. I feel like this place is literally a mix between Avatar and Dr. Seuss. There is one last thing, but I'm not going to tell you what it is now. But basically right now, it's literally the last activity of Christian and Ruby's trip. And uh, yeah, I kept it a surprise. I, I'm pretty sure you're never going to guess what it is. What the hell, Will? That looks like a lawnmower strapped to a plane. <laughs> you have a 50-50% chance of coming back, so... True friends will do anything and everything they can to show you a good time. I don't know what this means about Will, because he gleefully sent me into the sky in a flying coffin. Thanks, Will, I guess. <music> Jokes aside, flying in here was incredible. It was like a convertible plane, opened up to the skies, the smells, and the sounds. This was an immersive flight experience. This guy right here has given us the most genuinely incredible, authentic Mauritian experience. I appreciate you. Dude, I appreciate you. Killed Ruby. She's gonna need a couple days of recoup. Yeah, that's pretty much how we end most trips. With Ruby knocked out in the back of a car and hundreds of gigabytes of footage. And if you're like us and you love getting off the beaten path, going to where most others would never dare go, then you're gonna love some of my other videos, like my latest Sri Lanka adventure. That one was literally insane. And then you definitely need to check out my Philippines trip, where I put together the perfect adventure itinerary for someone like us. You're gonna wanna check that out. I'll have it linked down below. And lastly, if you want to join this creator family with Will, with Ruby, with me, then check that link down below and jump on a call with one of our success coaches. And you can learn all about LCA, what we're about, but if you're not quite ready for that today, you just want to become a professional mobile videographer, then check out that link down below because I got a free guide for you on how to get amazing results with this. Guys, as always, let's get lost again in the next one.